So today around, we're gonna take a look at our Guardian harness. One of the things about this harness that I like, one, it's a really lightweight harness, right? And it's part of our modular harness system. And what makes it part of the modular harness system is a few things. One, the breastplate is removable, so you can take the breastplate out to kind of lighten it off. Two, it runs on our G-hook system, so you can actually add different accessories to it, pouches and uh, there's a number of miscellaneous products that add-on pieces that you can add to this that you clip into the sort of the G-hook tabs that are on the harness itself. So this is what we call a three-strap harness system. So basically what you've got is you've got a strap that comes across the chest here. And one of the nice things about a three-strap system like this is the fact that it actually loads down this way. So it pulls across the dog's shoulders, right? It pulls more into his chest down into his chest more, as opposed to into the front of his chest. It actually loads the weight lower this direction. So this is strap one. Basically, this is strap two. And then the belly strap is strap three. So when you look at that, each one of these pieces of webbing is tied together. So this piece of webbing is actually stitched into the handle that's stitched into the D-ring that's stitched into the side piece. So the, the webbing is actually what makes up the structure of this harness. There's never any fabric that actually holds the harness together. It's actually webbing to webbing to webbing, and then the fabric is part of it to kind of help keep it in place um, or, or use for different things, whether it's placards, stuff like that. So all the load is across the webbing. The other thing that's nice on a three harness system is if you're running it off of a rear ring, as you pull on it, it runs the load across the dog's, across the dog's back and into his shoulders, right? so that when he's pulling on it, this is the most comfortable kind of direction that you're gonna get, or the most comfortable position you're gonna get for the dog. And if you look at like a dog sled harness, which has had a bazillion years of sort of people using them and putting dogs in, pulling stuff like that, that's kind of the same functionality you get out of this, or the same sort of load on the dog. It's very similar to the way that a, that a dog sled harness would work, which is one of the reasons I really like the sort of three strap system on a, on a harness like that. This has got a big generous piece of Velcro across the back, a handle you can lift him with, and a rear D-ring. And this is actually one of my favorite kind of tracking harnesses because it's really quick to get on and off. I can grab the dog, I can help move him, I can help throw him up and stuff. I can run a long line off the back of it um, and it doesn't get tangled up in him very easy. It doesn't weigh much, so it's not something that I'm, I'm putting a lot of weight on him. So if we're out and it's 90 degrees and we're out tracking, you know, this kind of, this is one of those things that just, it just doesn't take up much weight. It doesn't add a bunch of insulation to him, nothing like that. It doesn't compress a bunch of hair because you know, the hair is kind of what helps keep the insulation factor going. It's just a nice minimalistic harness that you use day in and day out. And then like I said, you can add different pouches to kind of turn into a backpack and we have some flotation stuff and a bunch of other things to sort of clip into this G-hook pieces here. This comes with uh, GT Cobra buckles. These load rate at like 600 pounds. V-ring in the back, you know, nice strong piece of V-ring. The girth size is 24 to 35 inches. Um, it's type eight webbing, so this is a, a mil spec load rated webbing. Um, it's actually technically a jump rated webbing, not that I would be leaping out of anything with this, but the webbing is, you know, really heavy and still pliable and that sort of thing. Um, it comes in coyote and black, and that's kind of the Guardian Harness extravaganza here um, at Rayon, and hopefully you'll see a potentially destructive testing video on this coming up soon. You can find it at rayon.com. Thanks for taking the time to check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>